At General Electric, progress is our most important product. The General Electric Summer Theater presents your favorite stars in the most popular stories from the General Electric Theater. Evening, friends. This is Red Bob. You know what this is? Nope, it isn't a spaceship to the moon. It's a model of a new weapon for our army called a guided missile. What's a guided missile? Well, technically, it's a weapon with an explosive charge up here in its nose that can be launched and sent through the air to destroy an enemy target. It has its own power plant, and it has the controls built into it to change its course and direction while it is in the air. Now, there are many different types of guided missiles built for different purposes. But tonight, let's take a look at just one type. A missile designed to be launched from one point and hit another point here. This is called a surface-to-surface -surface missile. That's nothing new, you say? Artillery shells have been doing that for 200 years? That's right, they have. But the range and striking power of these shells are limited. Now it would take a mighty big gun to fire a shell the size of our guided missile here far enough to be effective. So big, in fact, that it wouldn't be practical. Also, the farther the shell is fired, the more wind, air density, temperature, and so on tend to throw it off its course. Well, this guided missile is an attempt to overcome these limitations. No gun fires it. It takes off under its own power using a built-in propulsion system. And once in the air, it uses its automatic controls to correct for changing atmospheric conditions and keep it on course to its target. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But the building of a practical, accurate, guided missile of this type has turned out to be a real tough problem. Our forward-thinking armed forces turned to American industry with contracts to develop guided missiles way back in World War II. General Electric, for instance, working closely with the Army Ordnance Corps, organized an intensive research and development program. A separate guided missile department was established, and the race to perfect the guided missile was on. The job was anything but easy. However, by combining the know-how of GE scientists and engineers in such fields as chemistry, electronics, rocket propulsion, guidance and flight control, aerodynamics, progress has been made toward systems of high accuracy and reliability. Perhaps someday, these advances in the field of rocket flight will prove to be the first steps in the conquest of space itself. But whatever future scientific and engineering developments are made, you may be confident that General Electric will play an important part in making them. Because always in peace and when necessary for defense, at General Electric, progress is our most important product.